It is a remarkable true story. Robin Cavendish was left paralyzed by polio when he was 28, relying on a ventilator to breathe. He went on to become an advocate for people living with disabilities in Britain and lived for 30 more years. The new film, Breathe, tells his story. It stars Andrew Garfield and Claire Foy as Robin and his wife, Diana. And I sat with the actor and first-time director, Andy Serkis, to talk about this film, working with Robin's real-life son, Jonathan, and what it was like to bring this story to life. Oh, I've got news. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have a baby. Best news I ever had. Since I proposed and you said yes. Robin? I can't breathe. You inhale the polio virus from droplets in the air. The result is you can't breathe for yourself. You really must leave me here to rot now. I can't love this. Tell me about the conversations that you and Andrew had, because he's playing this role almost still for the entire movie, but yet still has to portray so much emotion. Andrew did a lot of research, as did we all, of course, uh, into the real Robin Cavendish, and a very athletic young man who was a tennis player, who was a cricketer who was in the army, and to have that, that physicality all taken away, there is footage that, that absolutely shows that, 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 in a way, that energy all, all migrated towards the top half of his body. He did have this extraordinary experience expressive face. Andrew went as far as having dentures made that, that were exactly, that fit Jonathan. How do you feel? Much better. We talked about the respirator and how that would affect um, the, Robin's speech. It was almost like a third character in the room. It was ever, ever present. It was like his tormentor, this machine that was keeping him alive. He almost played brilliantly. He learned how to use Robin's speech patterns in conjunction with the respirator, and, and we, we really worked that out. I either go on living here, or leave here and possibly die. Yes. What are we waiting for? You have these two young, brilliant actors, so well known. What do you do when you have these two characters in this film to make sure that nobody's looking at Queen Elizabeth and Spider-Man when they're in the scene? They're brilliant actors, and they just, you know, the, their observations of, of course, we had the real life Diana um, around, and Claire spent a lot of time with her, um, and uh, all the research materials. I love you, and I want Jonathan to know you. You can't love this. Yes, I can. And, and just the way that they are with each other, that they just really gave of themselves to each other in a, in a brilliant way. They were, they were selfless, and uh, Claire used to look after Andrew in between takes. They would, you know, Andrew would stay in character for, you know, because he couldn't move in really anyway. I've accepted the risk of dying. Ah! I don't want to just survive. I want to truly live. It's a beautiful film, very inspirational. You can catch Breathe in theaters across the country today.